Hi Aries, welcome to your June 2021 Tarot Weekly Reading. For those of you who are new to this channel, hi, I'm Bass and Intuitive Tarot. Super grateful that you're here. Now, I did take a little bit of a break from doing love readings, but I had uh, people reach out asking me to do a love energy update, so here we are. I was just trying to focus on you guys' money, career, things like that, okay? So if you're interested, in the comments, I will link up the Aries June monthly because that was a general reading surrounding what abundance is heading your way, okay? Also, this is a general reading, so it's not gonna resonate with all of you out there. And if it does, there will be an option for the extended pinned at the top of the comments below. If you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is also in the description box. And every Thursday night, I go live and I do an all signs reading, and we have such a friggin' blast. So if you wanna be a part of that, do rock that notification bell that's underneath this video so YouTube knows that you wanna be notified. All right, Aries, this is how I'm gonna do your love spread. I'm gonna pull the first spread out and it's gonna be your feelings, intentions, and actions towards your person on your mind. And then I'm gonna wipe the slate clean and I'm gonna draw out a new spread and that's gonna be your person's side of the story, how they're feeling, their intentions, and actions towards you. Okay, so we'll see what's going on. What do we have for Aries' side of the story, please? What is Aries' side of the story, please? Two more shuffles. One. And two, let's rock this deck for the awesome Aries. Two of cups, the four of wands, the world, whoa. The star, major for Aquarius, the two of swords, the nine of cups, the ace of wands, that's you, the lovers, wow, we have the two of cups and the lovers, who else got something like that? Um, Aquarius, and we do have Aquarius right here. The Death card, Scorpionic Energy. What's on the bottom? The Three of Swords. Right now, Aries, you are heartbroken about something. You're pissed off. You're feeling kind of like, I mean, look at the woman on this card. And don't focus on the gender, there are no genders in these readings. I'm picking up on an Aries that just feels so confused, so um, like the trust has been ripped out. Some of you guys could also be in a third party situation, okay, and just not sure where the connection is going. So let's take a look. Now, I do have the Two of Cups and the Lovers here, which does tell me that this person and you were supposed to meet each other. There was no accident here, okay? When you have this type of energy, that's a strong soul contract. You guys were supposed to meet each other, and there's some sort of huge lesson involved, okay? For some of you, this could have been a karmic, and for others, there's just something that you're supposed to learn about yourself during this experience, okay? But you feel so drawn to this person and they you as well. You see how that woman's hair is like being like pulled, like there's like a whole bunch of, you know, air just pushing her hair up? This tells me that you both are like magnets to each other. Like there's like a, like a pull that brings you guys back to each other, even if you guys separate for a few days, you guys get pulled back. Separate for a couple weeks, you guys get pulled back. There's an intense bond here, okay? Some of you guys could be a different race than this person, okay? But um, you felt like this person was going to be someone stable in your life. For others, there could have been a situation where your person needed to end a commitment in order to be with you with the Four of Wands and the World card. Okay, I will know more in a moment, but what I have here is the Two of Swords. You're feeling so confused about what's going on here. You feel like you're walking around with a blindfold over your eyes, all right? Maybe you're avoiding making some sort of decision that needs to be made in regards to this person, okay? But I do have the Star here and I have the Nine of Cups. This person makes you happy. You feel like you're, you're connected to this person by a string. Like, even if you guys don't see each other, you still feel like their energy is always around you, okay? This is Aquarius and Libra energy and Pisces. So moving forward, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Lovers, and we have the Death card. You're gonna have to make a major decision in regards to this person. Will you um, accept an ending for a new beginning? Will you just accept this ending altogether and make a decision to move on to a new, a new partner? I feel like the, the decision is going to be in your hands. Your hands, Aries. Okay? 
but you guys do have a strong intensity here which is really leaving you in a very confused state you really want to do what's best for you you just you feel so unsure you feel so unsure about what to do here with the two of swords being in the heart of your spread okay it's almost at the point where you're putting a blindfold over your eyes and you're telling these birds I don't trust my intuition right now will you please lead me to the right direction is what I'm getting off of that because you don't want to make the, the wrong decision and it's almost like you want someone to make the decision for you you want someone to say Aries just move on from this person or you want someone to say Aries no this person is meant for you you want someone else to make a decision for you it looks like with that blindfold over that woman's eyes okay again if that's not you don't worry now I do have two of cups two of swords and I have the lovers here all three cards represent decisions right and with that three of swords being here and the four of pentacles you're gonna have to make a decision because someone's very closed off right now with the four of pentacles okay someone may be just focusing on their money right now and with the repeated force someone may be just you know holding on to their stability right now and not really paying attention to the connection with the king of pentacles you could be dealing with a business owner or someone that is already in a situation that's stable because oftentimes the king of pentacles represents you know someone already in a relationship okay so I'm gonna get a clarifier on a couple cards and then I'm gonna wipe the slate clean and get your person's side of the story see what's going on with them okay I've got the world card again on the bottom can I get a card on this two of swords please for Aries can I get a card on that two of swords for Aries side of the story please the queen of swords and the five of wands you've got a lot of inner conflict going on right now Aries because the queen of swords is that energy of fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me you're at the point of this connection where you just really want to cut it out okay because the the drama of it all is frustrating you whether it's inner conflict or you know conflict with this person or other people getting involved with that five of wands you just want to like you want to move on from this situation you want better in your life you want to feel happy you just don't know if you can do it with this person in your life or without okay so you have to make a decision because the five of swords is here which is Gemini energy so I feel like during Gemini season there may have been a confusion in com communication because the five of swords is that energy of you know the communication just being not on the same page maybe there's the silent treatment going on or maybe someone is doing like um, manipulative uh, ta tactics to get the upper hand with the five of swords so let me get a card on that death card and then I'm gonna move on to your person actually no I'll get some more clarifiers I mean I do have one two three four major arcana so this person was not someone insignificant in your life there was a special bond here okay give me a card on that death card Scorpio energy I have look at that six of swords and the five of swords is what I was just talking about a moment ago you saying F that I deserve better and moving on from this situation okay but the page of wands is here which tells me you're gonna get communication from this person okay and this person communicating with you is going to be that make it or break it moment where you really ask yourself okay is this connection worth putting more time and energy into it is it really going to be um, good for my growth my well-being what's this person's um, situation like okay you're really gonna hear this person out to see if you guys can uh, work something out together okay now I'm really curious about that lovers card so let me get a card on that lovers why is that lovers card here some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini um, Aquarius Leo another Aries Pisces Taurus the star look at that and I got the five of Pentacles in reverse I do not read reversal so I don't know I don't know why this card is reversed in my deck I mean look you can see all these none of them are reversed but the five of Pentacles in reverse is coming out of um, closed off communication because the five of Pentacles in the upright is ghosting it's leaving someone out in the cold it's leaving someone feeling abandoned so you've got someone that's coming in to talk to you if they haven't been talking to you very much okay and there's going to be some sort of uh, wish fulfillment with the, the star and you're gonna be faced with an opportunity to make a major decision whether you're going to accept this person into your life where you guys can grow together or you're gonna be like look I can't deal with this anymore this is too hard on me 
okay it's 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 hurting me emotionally i don't know where we stand with each other that type of energy okay aries so i'm going to wipe the slate clean and pull out your person's side of the story okay but before i move on some of you guys could be dealing with an aquarius gemini scorpio pisces uh leo uh taurus and cancer but if i didn't say your zodiac sign no worries it's not about the zodiac sign okay it's all about the energy oh let me flip that back up <laughs> There are no accents in tarot for that one to come up reverse. All right, let's see. Aries' this person's side of the story. Hold on, I got an itch. Ah, that was bugging me. All right, Aries' this person's side of the story. Aries' this person's side of the story. I love you guys, by the way. I had a lot of fun with you guys during that live stream. Aries this person, Aries this person, Aries this person. Let's get this shuffled pretty good. The Eight of Pentacles wanted to hop out, okay? Someone may be focusing on their career right now, focusing on their money matters, or that's an energy of wanting to step up and put in the effort, okay? Could be an earth sign. Two more shuffles, please. Aries is person's side of the story. One and two. Let's rock this deck for Aries' is person's side of the story. A lot of earth coming in. Wow, a difference in energy. It looks like this person feels like you ghosted them or you're the one confusing them and they're waiting on you. There's something about this connection that they just don't trust. So they're trying to get more details, okay? But look at the card. The Five of Swords is what I was just talking about a moment ago where you felt like this person was, you know, miscommunicating or doing the silent treatment or saying things and actions speaking differently. Well, this person's overall energy is they feel like you're doing it. They're like rubbing their head going, what the hell does Aries want with me? I have no freaking clue. One minute they're good. Next thing they're, they're not like really invested or they, they are upset with me or they're not upset with me. I don't know. What the hell? That's the five of swords. Okay. Your person is coming up with the five of pentacles, two of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. I don't know if this person is juggling another person, and that's why they had to, you know, distance themselves maybe, but I do see where they feel like you abandoned them. Okay, they see that you abandoned them, and they feel like you're not there for them anymore. But the thing is, there's a key on that door, which tells me that I'm picking up on an Aries that would be open to this person coming back into their life if they would just take that key, put it into the keyhole, and communicate openly and honestly about what there, there is going to be happening with this connection. Whoa, that was a weird sentence. <laughs> I jacked that up. Hold on. I feel like a lot of you Aries are going to be open for this person to, you know, reach back out and be open about what's going on with the connection and where it's moving forward. Okay. Thank goodness we're on the last, the last end of Mercury retrograde. But I feel like there is some sort of an apology coming in with the Page of Pentacles. I don't know if it's being delivered by your person or from you. Okay. I'm strongly feeling like your person is going to be reaching out to, you know, bring some sort of peaceful resolution here. Okay, now in the heart of the spread, I have the three of wands. The three of wands is this person waiting on you. And I feel like they're watching you with the page of swords and what they're seeing, they feel like maybe you're trying to hide something from them with the seven of swords or that you're trying to run away from them. Okay, they feel like, what is Aries up to? Is Aries trying to like leave me in the dust? What's going on? Is there something I can't trust with this connection? I'm just gonna wait it out with the three of wands, which is your energy, Aries. So it looks like you guys are just not on the same page here. You, that's what I was talking about with the miscommunication, okay? The Five of Swords will do that to you. The Five of Swords will do that to everybody involved. It's, it's telling me that this person feels like they're not in the wrong and your reading told me that you feel like you're not in the wrong and you both are like reading things differently. It's really confusing you both. So I feel like if you guys have an honest discussion with each other and openly talk about everything, you might find out that um, you guys were just misinterpreting things and that there is a strong connection here, okay? But I'm wondering about that Two of Pentacles and the Five of Wands coming up again. Someone, I can't like, I don't wanna throw third party situations out there. 
okay? I'm not that type of reader, but I did have the Three of Swords as your overall energy, but you take it however it resonates. That Three of Swords just could have been, you know, you just feeling gutted, you feeling betrayed, you feeling hurt, you feeling like this person didn't show that they cared, okay? I do see this person rushing in with communication, and I'm talking rushing in, because they're still open to something with you. Page of Cups. It's not the King of Cups, no, but the Page of Cups is saying, I'm open to something with Aries. Let me go talk to them. Let me go talk to them. But I feel like when they rush in to communicate, there might be some, you know, there might be some hidden frustration that you both will exhibit. It's like the tension will be, you know, strong. For instance, when this person rushes in to talk to you, Aries, um, the first open discussion, you guys might have a little bit of a, an energy about you both that is not like warm and fuzzy, like you're, you're about to stick each other's tongue down your throats. It's gonna be like, I can't believe you did that to me. It's gonna be like tense. But I feel like the more you guys talk and talk things through, the, the energy might soften to where you guys can have an open discussion about what's going on here with the connection, okay? So I'm gonna clarify a few things. Queen of Swords on the bottom again. Why is the Five of Swords this person's overall energy? Two of Cups just wanted to come out with the lovers. You had the Two of Cups and the lovers on your spread too. So this person feels the connection as well. Why is that Five of Swords here? The Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here with the Hierophant, okay? Um, that Ace of Cups wanted to come out in the upright, but then it came out sideways. So this is a side note to somebody. Someone may be waiting for another person to get out of a commitment, whether it be a, a finalizing of a divorce or whatnot, okay? So I, I feel like that could be why the Ace of Cups landed sideways. Someone is not fully out of a relationship yet and they're not ready to be with the person that they wanna be with yet. So there's like a holding pattern or holding period. And for others, this person doesn't know if you want to be with them or not or if you're completely done with them with the Ace of Cups. Okay, but with that Wheel of Fortune jumping out, it, it's telling me that there's gonna be some positive changes here. There's going to be some big changes that's going to allow you to see where this is going and you're gonna feel like things are turning in your favor. Luck is on your side. Even if this doesn't lead to you guys being in a relationship, something about this connection is going to bring you a lot of clarity to know that you've got some good stuff heading your way. A lot of good changes. Okay, so why is that two of pentacles here for them? Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Aries' this person? Now remember, this all could be vice versa. This first spread could have been your person's energy, okay? You gotta take it however it resonates to you. Why is that Two of Pentacles here? The Sun and the Chariot. Someone's going back and forth between staying optimistic and wanting to push forward, okay? Leo Cancer energy. Okay, so I feel like maybe at the start of cancer season, you're gonna gain some sort of clarity on the situation Aries. Because cancer season begins, what, in a few days? A couple days, I think? And I feel like there's going to be communication coming in that's going to give you a lot of clarity, okay? Why is that three of wands here? The eight of wands, this person's waiting on you to communicate with them, and they're confused about why you're not reaching out. Why is that seven of swords here? Why is that Seven of Swords here? The Devil and then the Nine of Wands in reverse. This person wants you to, I feel like this person feels like you're not telling them the full story, okay? And I feel like it's because this person had their guard up with you, they had their wall up, but they're, they're about to um, let the wall come down so that you guys can get some sort of clarity here. They don't wanna come in like, um, closed off. They want to see some sort of progress, whether it's you guys finding out that it's better to just move on from each other or finding out that you guys should put more effort towards each other. This person is letting some sort of wall down so that you guys can talk to each other, okay? And figure out if you're gonna end this cycle together and move on or end this chapter and move on together. All right, so I'm gonna get some angel answers. Actually, let me get a card on that Knight of Swords. Can I get a card on that Knight of Swords to so that communication that's coming in? Yeah, look at that. This person wants to know what, what your plans are. This person wants to know what your plans are because they're at a crossroads where they don't know what to do. They don't know which way to go, okay? But they do know that you guys have a strong connection with that lovers being there 
zodiac sign for Gemini, but you both feel like you're in the dark right now with the moon. Cancer Pisces energy. Let me get some angel answers. Um, I have Cancer Leo in this reading, Heavy Earth. Um, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius, but don't worry about the zodiac signs. Okay, choose a new direction just popped out. And no, and then no again. Some of you guys are not going to accept this person back into your life and you're gonna just want to go in a new direction. I feel like you're just wanting to get the clarity that you feel like you deserve, okay? And then some of you guys are gonna reconsider and show your more assertive side. So I, I see it's going to be a, a coin toss for some of you guys. All right, so I hope this helps. If this resonated, I'll get extra nosy in the extended, but this is where I leave you. Please rock that like and subscribe button and see you Thursday night at my live. All right, love you, bye.